Hello? How's it going, friends? We saw the farewell of Lionel Messi to Barcelona, and it was painful to watch. This is probably the most accurate combination of words. It was a hurting experience even for those people who are not interested in football and they just got that video occasionally on social media platforms. I've cried. My girlfriend says to me, who is not interested in football at all and openly dislikes it when I watch any game. The scale of this tragedy is colossal and today we want to talk and insist that only Barcelona itself is to blame for the fact that Lionel Messi was forced to go to the farewell ceremony against his will. The goat pulled himself together and began to speak. Lionel's touching speech was followed by a stand innovation, and Leo began to cry again. Then there were journalists' questions, answers, other farewell words and photos with all the trophies obtained with him as part of Barcelona's legacy. Everything on this day seemed to say that the farewell to the best footballer in the history of Barcelona is out to happen another way. And one needs to come to such events in a more solid clothes than Dest were. Chicago Bulls shirt? Seriously, Serginho? The same feeling was conveyed by Leo Messi himself in his post on Instagram after the farewell ceremony. I would have liked to leave in a different way. Although I suppose a farewell can never be a nice thing. I would have loved to stay here. I did everything with that goal in mind and in the end, it didn't happen. I only have words of thanks to all those who have been with me for so many years at the club and for our fans who gave me all their affection and I tried to repay them by giving my all for this shirt. I'm living, but it's not goodbye. It's just see you later," wrote Messi on Instagram. 15 years at an unprecedented level to end up not being able to choose the end of a career, to leave Barcelona properly. Messi is Barca and Barca is Messi. We knew that this great football page would end soon, but not in that way. It's awful. This tweet from one of the Barcelona supporters really sunk into our souls as it perfectly characterizes the absurdity of the situation. Barcelona had in its lineup the future seven-time winner of the Ballon d'Or and, as a result, almost limply let his homegrown genius to go to the camp of the principal European rival, whom Barca fans hate so fiercely, to PSG. It is worth putting an end to the question of the true reason for the departure of Lionel Messi. Barcelona just could not allow itself to have such a player financially. An already very annoying question is spreading on the internet sounding like this. If Messi loves Barcelona so much, why didn't he want to spend the new season for free? Let's ignore the factor of the nonsense of it. Just imagine your boss making such an offer to you at work. So the answer to this most ingenious question is this. Messi has no right to do this even in legal terms. The matter is that in Spain there is a rule. The new contract must be at least 50% of the previous salary. Explaining the reasons for the departure of Messi, Laporta said that Barcelona spends 110% of their income on the salaries of football players. And after partying with Lionel Messi, this figure drops to 95%. To fit into the rules of La Liga, you need to bend this bar to 70%. It turns out that if Leo could play for free, he would still not be able to be registered. Deadlock of a situation. However, Laporta pulled off the transfers of Aguero, Garcia, Emerson and Depay, and these guys were also promised good chunks of salary. Now, can you imagine what a terrible situation Barcelona found itself in? And in what terrible position did Messi involuntarily fall? Not even current summer newbies can be registered. An absolute disaster. That's exactly what Laporta confessed not only to Messi, but to the whole world. Of course, the previous leadership of Barca at the head of Bartomeu is to blame for everything. Just look at these salaries. The first column is the salary per week, the second is the salary per year. And who gets that kind of money? Coutinho, Pjanic, Umtiti, Dembele, Sergio Roberto, plus Griezmann's cosmic amount. It is clear that Bartomeu is the culprit here, but Laporta is also no good, not being able to unload the payroll. Messi's father was completely angry after the final negotiations, accusing the president of using his son to win the election because Joan's main promise was signing a new contract with Lionel Messi. A lot of coldness between Messi and Laporta, reads the headline of Oz journalist Javier Miguel. Not a hug between the two, not a few words of thanks in his speech. Leo was distant with the president, although he did not make any direct reproach to him. The farewell of Leo Messi from FC Barcelona showed that his relationship with Joan Laporte has been at best in question, that the Argentine forward did not accept a hug with the president during the act, and that in his initial speech he did not mention Laporte directly, it made it clear that something had been broken between the two. Although it's also true that Leo at no time reproached the president for anything. 
not even when it was time for the journalists to ask questions. Messi made a gesture towards Laporta, showing that deep down, he was hurt with the president. In fact, there were moments when it seemed that he was biting his tongue, especially when they asked him if he believed that someone had deceived him regarding his extension at Barca, or if he thought that the club had not done enough to keep him going. To both questions, Leo clung to the argument that the president did not want to borrow more, without wanting to give more explanations or lengthen. In any case, it confirms that more things have happened in these last three days than it was set, and that surely the relationship between them has left. Protagonists in question. The Oz journalist wrote, Question. Since it's a friendly match, linked to no official competition, couldn't we have given Messi some sort of send-off in the Gamper match in front of at least some fans? A popular blogger Talk FCB asks. Messi dismissed was a formal statement on the club's social media accounts. Laporta, with a cold, senseless heart and face, said no, he won't give any false hopes to keeping him. The trophies were put in a side room instead of the Camp Nou. Here's your answer, replied one of the Barca fans. This is what they did for Akitic, and this is what they did for Messi, reads a tweet from one of the outraged fans. Indeed, the farewell to the greatest player in the history of Barca was very odd and sort of crumpled wrote the following words under Laporta's farewell tweet to Messi. Leo doesn't want you to be around. He knows everything. He knows who is to blame for his departure. You let us down. You are no different from Bartomeu. At least he stayed with Messi when he wanted to leave, and you left him when he wanted to stay. And this is another tweet from an angry Barcelona fan under the same post. You have deceived thousands of Catalans, who unfortunately trusted you. You made Florentino Paris and Madrid happy. You need to resign. You are a crook and a liar. Fortunately, Barcelona is much bigger than you, and it will work out later on. This makes the general mood among Barca fans right now. This year, my family and I were convinced we were going to stay here. That is what we all wanted more than anything. We were at home, and we thought we'd be staying here in Barcelona. The time we've had here and with the city and football has been amazing. But today, I have to say goodbye to all of this. I've been here since I was 13. This is the hardest moment in my career. With these words, we would like to conclude this video. We only hope that Messi will return to Barcelona in the upcoming years and that his farewell will be no less beautiful than that of Xavi and Iniesta, and not the way it was held. Barcelona broke the heart of Lionel Messi, who gave it his best football years. All that is very sad to witness from the site. So it was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a good one and see you in a bit.